please go ahead and check out that best wood deli slicer that's what this video is all about how to make you your own gondola fresh at home <laughs> all right so i'm gonna let you know all the ingredients i got i'll show you how they look at the end i got some beef tomatoes like six or seven of these gondolas by avanti you guys live in peoria or bloomington or something like that you're familiar with these got some hard salami and i got some um ham right here there's some hickory smoked ham some turkey right here some cheese american cheese and some provolone right here and i have some lettuce right here all right so today is my son's birthday Corey. so i got him this cake right here you gotta say happy birthday to Corey for me all right so i'm gonna go ahead and start slicing this up on my deli slicer all right see you guys in a minute Okay, fam. I'm gonna use this right here, the hard salami. Right here, about thin as long. You can get thinner as that. We can get thinner than that if you want to. Just dial it down some. Alright. That's thin. Alright guys. That's the um, hard salami. Hey guys. Here's my turkey. My smoked turkey. You can't cut this in half. Probably best to anyway. All right. So I just cut mine in half, like so. Put this on here. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and complete this and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, here's my ham right here. We're going to start cutting on that. I'll cut this in half though. Make sure you clean your, um, your deli slicer after every use. I may not have told you guys that, but it's always good to be safe. I'm sorry. You don't want no cross contamination on no meat. Alright. So here's that. Let's see how thick we want this. Give me a liner. Yeah, it's pretty thick. I want a little bit thinner than that. Just adjust that. Yeah, that's good. I want it kind of flimsy. Let's see that. That. We can get thinner than that if we want to, but this is about just the right size for me. So if you guys ain't got one of these, you need to get one. It helps. Especially if you're doing like parties or anything like that, making meat trays and yeah, you can do all your own. All right, guys, I'm go ahead and complete these this up and show you guys what we'll be doing next in a minute. Don't forget, this is the best wood deli slicer. All right, in a minute. Okay, fam, I'm gonna do these tomatoes. These are like them beef tomatoes right here. Just make sure you wash them off real good. 
You can do two of them at a time on here. If I had some iceberg lettuce, I could have sliced that too, but I didn't buy that. I wanted to eat butter leaf lettuce. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and crank this bad boy up. We want them kind of, kind of thick a little bit on this. Not too thick, but enough. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect size. Like I said, just make sure you clean your thing after every use. Yeah, that's the perfect size right there, guys. See that? And you can do onions, cucumbers, and all that stuff. See, I'm done with them too, just that quick. So I got to do two more. And that should complete my meal. I mean, complete my uh, slicing. Unless you're going to do some onions or something like that. See this? The, that's the bottom. That's it. And you can save those if you want to. If you got, got some tacos coming up. But I ain't got nothing coming up that quick. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and do two more of these. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, fam. I'm finally done. Putting up all the meat and the tomatoes. Here's my butter leaf lettuce right here. I wash those off. And my meat and stuff, I ain't have nothing but to put it in the party tray because there's a lot of it. Here's my turkey, my ham, my tomatoes, and my hard salami right there. So that's how that looks up close. Like I said, you can do your own meat tray and everything, guys. And um, you can wrap this stuff up with some saran wrap and put it in your refrigerator to keep it, you know, at the, at the right temperature in your refrigerator. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start working on this um, bread, cutting it up, and uh, start putting these sandwiches together. See you guys in a minute. Okay, fam, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys one sandwich. And I'm going to go ahead and prepare it. Go ahead and get some of this mail. Put that on here. Should have used my other spatula. Okay. Alright, now the bottom is going to get a little mustard on it. Optional. Just like that. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to come in here with our um, hard salami. Double the meat. <laughs> All right. Then we're going to come in here with our ham. All right. All right, that's our ham. Alright, now we're going to come in here with some turkey. Just like so. Put a little piece right here. Just like that. Now we're going to come in here with our, um, our lettuce. Well, no, we can't do that. I put some cheese on there, right? Come on here like so. And I know y'all like, well, why are you put them so far apart? Because I'm gonna put some provolone in the middle. Alright. Take me some provolone, put it on there just like so. Just like that guys. And we're gonna come in here with our lettuce. Right there. Now our tomatoes. 
Now, like I said, if you wanted some like um, if you wanted some onions, you can put that on there as well. Just like that, guys. Put this bread on here, and there you have it. La gondolas. <laughs> Just like that, fam. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of these. And please go ahead and check out that best wood deli slicer. Alright, see you guys in a minute. I'll show you how everything looks. Okay guys, I'm finally done making these sub sandwiches using my best wood deli slicer. I couldn't put that in there because it's too big. I got a whole bunch of sandwiches and I still got other sandwiches to make. So guys, if you like this video, give me a like and a share. And please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the bell just like so. Hit that bell so you too can be notified next time I upload another delicious recipe. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time in Bell Dog's Kitchen. Much love.